Hey, it's Dr. Nussi from EZDOTPhysicals.com back again with another video. And in this one, we are talking about CBD products and can CBD products cause you to fail a drug test for THC marijuana. All right, so let's get right into it. So CBD products can be bought over the counter. They're available everywhere and they are completely legal per the 2018 Farm Bill. So let's go over that briefly here. So in December of 2018, the 2018 Farm Bill was signed into law. It removed hemp, and hemp is defined as cannabis and derivatives of cannabis with extremely low concentrations of the psychoactive component Delta 9 THC. So that means that the hemp contains no more than 0.3% THC on a dry weight basis, and it removes it from the definition of marijuana in the Controlled Substances Act. So what this means as far as federal law goes is CBD products derived from hemp that contain no more then 0.3% THC are 100% federally legal. Again, marijuana, anything over that 0.3% THC is still federally illegal as of the posting of this video. Uh, more to come on that very shortly. I just made an update video on marijuana and the legalization process that it is going through currently. Uh, I hope to make another update video on this very soon, but marijuana is illegal federally and 0.3% or lower concentration THC hemp and CBD products are 100% federally legal. So if the federal government defines these as legal products, then you should in theory have no problem taking a drug test and these products not showing up on a drug test, especially a federal drug test. Think of the drug tests that are mandated for safety sensitive employees like pilots and truck drivers and these type of jobs. So if these are legal products, they shouldn't show up on a drug test. And the reality is that if you're using a product, a CBD product, that does contain 0.3% or less of THC, it would be very difficult to use an amount that would cause you to fail a traditional, a standard drug test that tests for THC marijuana. These tests are typically, they typically have a cutoff at 50 nanograms per milliliter, and you would have to do an awful lot of CBD if it has a concentration of THC of 0.3% or less. You'd have to do an awful lot of it to get anywhere close to going over that 50 nanogram per milliliter cutoff. So if you're using a good product that falls within these legal limits, you shouldn't have any problem. The issue is, and this is a similar issue to Delta 8 THC, and I've done a complete video on Delta 8 THC, but the issue with CBD products is that either because of poor manufacturing or oversight or whatever, a lot of these products, and they're not federally regulated like drugs are, like prescription medications are in the United States. So because of poor manufacturing or whatever, a lot of these products have a much higher concentration, even if they're labeled as THC free or under that 0.3% THC level, they have much higher levels of THC in the products. And there has been research done on this subject specifically. Let me show you some of that research. This article is entitled CBD product contamination. Quantitative analysis of Delta 9 THC concentrations found in commercially available CBD products. And then I won't go through the whole study here. I will leave a link to the study in the description box below. But the conclusions, consumers are taking hemp-derived CBD products without understanding the risks of unintentional consumption of Delta 9 THC. This accidental use of Delta 9 THC could have adverse effects on health and safety as well as potential legal consequences. And they're talking, I think, specifically about drug testing and they use the examples child custody, uh, impaired driving. 
as Delta 9 THC drug test findings could impact employment, military, and social or and sport eligibility status. And because a lot of the content on my channel revolves around drug testing and what's legal and what's not, I get questions all the time about CBD products, CBD oil, uh, can I make recommendations, which products should I use? So I have talked to a number, personally I've talked to a number of different CBD companies, companies that manufacture CBD products, and I cannot get one of them to give me a 100% guarantee that use of their products will not cause the consumer to test positive for THC marijuana on a drug test, not one. And the Department of Transportation, again, truck drivers are going to be considered safety sensitive and they are going to be subject to drug testing, including marijuana THC testing at different points. The Department of Transportation thinks this is enough of an issue that they went ahead and released a statement. And I will read that to you. Since the use of CBD products could lead to a positive drug test result, Department of Transportation regulated safety sensitive employees should exercise caution when considering whether to use CBD products. And there has been at least one driver confirmed to have lost their job after using a CBD product that was contaminated with THC and subsequently failing his drug test. So in summary, CBD products are 100% federally legal. Now certain states might have different laws as well. I'm not going to go all into state law. I'm talking about the federal law. So CBD products are 100% federally legal. As of the posting of this video, THC marijuana, anything over that 0.3% concentration of THC is 100% not federally legal and the use of a product that fits into that 0.3% or lower THC, a hemp product, a CBD product, that is 0.3% or less THC should not cause you to fail a drug test for THC marijuana. The issue is that a lot of these products are contaminated with higher concentrations than that 0.3% legal limit. So exercise extreme caution just as the Department of Transportation warns when using these products. All right, I hope that was very helpful and straightforward. Please stay subscribed here. A lot of updates coming soon about drug testing and legalization. And until next time, everybody, stay safe.